In the Bitcoin world, there's definitely an element of Bitcoin evangelism where you want to help people understand what you just saw. And I think a lot of people compare it to uh, the matrix, right? Being red pilled or orange pilled. When, when you take that uh, initial dose of knowledge and all of a sudden you see the world in a different way, it's very difficult to unsee that, right? It's very difficult to, to unsee how money works, how it has worked in the past, how it works today and where we're headed. And once you see that we are headed towards a world where all money is going digital, you're going to have a surveillance state. So you have that already in places like China where every transaction is surveilled. So as we go more and more digital, we start to uh, lose our, our privacy. We start to lose our, our human rights because the government is able to monitor what we do and they're able to stop uh, financial transactions. They're able to stop capital from leaving the country. And that's a form of lock-in, right? As, as somebody who's escaped a, a regime of that nature, I know what it's like to be locked into a place. You're not able to leave. You don't have the financial means to leave. You don't have the, uh, the freedom to leave. So um, once you see that world and you realize those problems, it's very difficult to stop talking about it because you, you think to yourself, this needs to be done, right? The world needs to know about Bitcoin because otherwise we're just going to get defaulted into this new world where all things are digital, all money is digital, and it's not going to be the good kind of money. It's not going to be freedom money. It's not going to be Bitcoin. It's going to be state-controlled, surveilled, money and that is not a world that uh, enables freedom that's a world that enables censorship and authoritarianism and i have a strong anti-authoritarian sort of uh, streak in me and that's why i can't stop talking about bitcoin i think it's absolutely crucial for everybody to understand um, where we're headed and i think people are walking into this future rather blindly